What's going on YouTube? This right here is the unboxing of the FNX Tactical 45ACP. Now, I have opened this once before, so this isn't a true unboxing, but it is an unboxing because I did load up the mags. So as you see, this is a very sexy weapon. Look at how good it blends in. It just blends in so well with the carrying case. The carrying case is very nice too, but it's just so sexy. So, as you see, the mag let me tilt it up. The mag is not all the way loaded in because, like I said, it's fully loaded and I have two kids in the house and I do not want to have it loaded. So, look at the, the polish on the steel. That is just beautiful. One thing that I have not seen people talk about about these magazines, and I love how they look, is the fact that on the back side, you can actually see how many are in there. So, it's a 15 round mag, but keep in mind, you can put one in the chamber and have 15 in the mag, so it's actually 16 rounds can be shot out of this particular pistol. This pistol comes with three mags. They're all here. Like I said, they're all loaded. I wanted to load them. Um, one thing you will notice is they're all balls, not hollows. I like balls better than hollows, because if I ever have to shoot through a door, shoot through a window, etc. I want something that I know is not gonna lose velocity going through it. The problem with hollow tips is yes, they do more flesh damage, but when going through things, they lose kinetic energy. So therefore, in my opinion, they're not as effective. So, back to the pistol itself. This is the FNX. Now, there was a version of this called the FNP. For those who are confused about the FNP and FNX, the difference is in the bottom receiver where you hold it from my understanding the FMP is metal down here versus this is not but give you a close-up of the weapon I am gonna show y'all something that nobody shows so hopefully it'll be dark enough if you can see the glow let me turn off the screen those are night sights. Comes with the night sights, so it glows in the dark. All right. So you lock it. All right. Once you lock it, you pull this down, and then Unlock in case y'all don't know how to do it. Just showing you, then it just slides right off. Just showing you the inside of it in case. So it is a single action and double action, as you can see, which is nice because you can have it cocked with the safety up. So that way, when it's loaded, you don't blow your, your leg off, your foot off, whatever. And then there you go. And then you have your threaded barrel. We'll show you the threads. I'm not going to take it off because I don't know the rules of where I am. But you can see that a suppressor can go on it. You know what? Fuck it. Show y'all what a threaded barrel looks like. That is what a threaded barrel looks like. Like I said, those are for suppressors. And now we'll put it back together in a second if you're wondering this right here when you buy a brand new pistol it should come with this this is the one round that went through it to let you know it's not a faulty weapon so don't open that okay leave it in the package what else comes in here let me angle down a little bit these are your hand grips that you can change so basically that's what's changing in this is thin and thick Turn it sideways. So, or you could do a thicker of the grip that's already on the back. The thinner one's on the back now. So, that comes in here. Then, you have your mounting brackets, Allen wrench mounting brackets. Where the mounting brackets go, and the Allen wrench is used for, 
It's here. For whenever you get an optical put on there. A red dot, that's where it's going to go. So let's put that back in. Then the other thing that comes with it, it comes with one more thing, which is pretty cool. Especially if you've got kids around the house, etc. First things first, if I can get this back in, that would be nice. There we go. Close that pouch. Comes with a weapon lock. Ooh, so nobody can fire it off without the key. So that means it's just a nice added value. Most pistols either come with one mag or two. So you're looking at just say most pistols come with two. You're still getting about a $50 value right here. And then this right here is a $25 to $50 value as well. So you're looking at increases. Then like I said, it's got night sights on it. You're looking at more of a value increase right there. And that's pretty much the FNX 45 unboxing it. Like I said, it's a very, very beautiful weapon. So we're going to just slide it back. Everything on this is ambidextric, but this. This clamp is the only thing that will not be. Sorry, everything's backwards. So we're going to lock it. Once you get it locked back, put that down. Now, you could do it like the movie and pull this down and it will slide forward. But I don't like that because it can cause wear and tear to the weapon sliding like that. So what you do is give a little tug. A little tug and just bring it back. And as you see here. Or you can cock it back. Put your safety on. And it's not going to fire. This is another feature that I like about this. Some safeties will actually stop the trigger from going back. But this one, the trigger will go back with the safety on, which I like. And then we'll load up the mag. Then, as you see on both sides, you just press here, and it's going to drop. And it'll drop so as far as aesthetics go this is a very good looking weapon I have not fired it yet I just got it but as you see FNX tactical as far as looks go this is one of the best looking hand pistols I have ever seen it feels great I will say that this is a little heavy for a 4.5 so keep that in mind when buying this that the weight of it is going to be a little heavier than other four fives and when they say full size this is definitely a full size I would say that this is around the same length as a 1911 versus to me most four fives the end of the barrel would probably cut to here on this and then the handle would be a little shorter and then you know they're going to be a little lighter of course but hope y'all enjoyed the review after I shoot it I'll do another review maybe with me at the range shooting it and let you know how it goes.